What's up guys, welcome back to Road of the Two Comic Club. Today is Wednesday and uh, it's gonna be a short video today. I'm trying to keep them short, I'm not talking about too much because I need to catch up and this is gonna help me catch up a lot. So yeah, so let's just get into it. Uh, I'll post a screenshot of how we did. Um, we closed it right around pretty much 234 exactly. And so we lost a little bit from yesterday, but not too much. Um, there was some stuff in the news about more stuff about the tariffs uh, kind of causing the markets to go down. Uh, but I wasn't honestly watching too much because I had a tutor today, so I was trying to just edit and kind of focus on that. Um, so I'll just talk about a couple articles. Um, in terms of our gainers, though, we had Universal Display. Our 180 strike call actually finished up today, um, even though the stock finished down. And then Square had a really good day. They went up 5.36%, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, but yeah, so we had a Stamps.com, Amazon were some of our top gainers today in terms of money. Uh, we had a uh, 12 percent gain with our Zillow call and we're actually in the money with that one We've been in the money for a little while, but they also went up 2.45 percent today. So they had a good day So yeah, and our losers we had uh, You know Tesla th There people have been saying that there's a lot of flaws in their production and the quality of the cars But one of their spokespersons said that's not true and that they have a lot like over 500 different individual checkpoints so they, That they do so I don't really know what to believe all I know is I've been seeing video reviews of the Model 3 and all of them have been really, really well, like really amazing. They said the car is awesome and there haven't really been, I haven't really seen anything saying that the car is not put together well or it's, you know, bad. I don't know, I guess the, the verdict is still out on that. Um, one day when they do have those out at the, the dealership near me, I will test drive one and I'll have a little bit more to say about it. But anyways, uh, so we're going to talk about Boeing. Um, India eyeing Boeing's Super Hornet in latest twist to Air Force procurement. So this article, which I will put a link in the description, talking about how India is looking for some fighter jets for their Air, their air Force. And until now, um, they, they were between these two other um, uh, jets, between Lockheed Martin and Saab, apparently. And But now, all of a sudden, they want to look at the, some twin engine jets I believe is what they said, and so now they're considering Boeing's FA-18 Super Hornet, and if they could, and this is just a big if, but if they could land this contract, this, this could be a $15 billion order, it says. So this could be huge for Boeing if um, they do do that, and uh, th they've been saying that Boeing is going to be hit with these tariffs pretty bad, so hopefully this could be some good news for them if they do get this. So let's just move on. Uh, Square... In fact, both of these articles kind of mention the same thing, but this one says, are merchants finally ready to accept Bitcoin at the register? Now, they did a survey of 100 merchants who use Square and found that 60% of them are willing to accept Bitcoin as payment in lieu of cash. So that is awesome, and that kind of leads into the CNBC article that said, this one analyst uh, said that he compared Square stock as, to Amazon, quote, Amazon in its early days which is a really big statement because you, we all know where Amazon is now. So if this particular analyst thinks Square could reach those type of heights that Amazon's hitting, even if it was like a fraction of that, I feel like that would be amazing. So hopefully that pans out because we have some, some money invested in them still. Um, so yeah, so they're almost at an all-time high. Uh, so it's really, really nice. And if, honestly, if I was a merchant, and I am, but I, I haven't really sold many things lately, but I would definitely accept Bitcoin for payments for my product. So, I mean, I think a lot of people are warming up to that idea because cryptocurrency, I do think is going to happen whether we like it or not. Uh, it's just only a matter of time. So anyways, with that said, I'm very excited about Square. Um, so hope you guys like this video. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And sh uh, share with your friends if you want to show them how it is investing in options or in the stock market or stocks, doing covered calls, whatever. And uh, yeah, we appreciate that. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a good night and we'll see you tomorrow.